the Parent and Family Resource. Thoughts and comments on the Parent and Family Resource. This presentation includes thoughts and introductory comments about the Parent and Family Resource. Aloisa encourages viewers to experiment and come to see their true soul condition from God's perspective. In other words, see themselves as they really are right now. This presentation also includes how to find out further information about Divine Truth teachings and how to contact Aloisa if you have any questions or queries. Recorded in Wilkesdale, Queensland, Australia, on the 5th of March 2021 at 11.30am. Hello and welcome to the Parenting Principles Program. This is a resource that I am creating um, based on the teachings of Divine Truth as taught by Jesus and Mary Magdalene and taking principles of divine truth and applying them to parenting specifically. All of these principles can be applied to any, any relationship. It doesn't have to be just parenting. You can apply it to partners, friendships, grandparents, but I'll specifically be using examples in the context of either partner relationships or um, children and parents. I've made this resource because I feel that change in the family has a huge op um, potential to make positive change in the wider world. And as parents, we are directly influence all of the next generation, you know, collectively, no, no, not just one of us, but collectively we actually influence the next generation in what they're going to be like. I know for myself that various things that I have created and fostered in the children uh, very much out of harmony with ethics and love and truth um, from God's perspective or any perspective by that matter, the way that I have encouraged the children to treat myself, um, in particular in our family, is well, if, not, if I didn't choose to correct it, they would actually end up treating other women the same as that and I have to say that that would not be a very nice or kind thing to do. I have been experimenting myself personally with teaching since 2009 so about 11 years that I've been experimenting with these and I know that they work. I know when you sincerely apply these principles, when you make a soul change via an emotional experience and process, that real change occurs in your life in a positive way. So I'm, from my perspective, it's teachings work and I'm wanting to share with you all of the principles themselves as well as various qualities to develop and tools that you can use and different ways that you can understand about, about love and truth and pre practically applying the teachings of divine truth to your own life. I use a lot of my own experiences, but I'm also will be bringing in, you know, observations of um, friends of mine and other people in, in, around the place as well. So all of these will contribute to this um, resource that's aimed at parents to become to know yourselves and to actually become a loving parent from God's perspective. I'm still exploring about what it actually means to be a loving parent from God's perspective and what I'm sharing with you is what I understand so far. As I learn more and come to understand more for myself, I'll also share that with you quite openly and transparently. I feel passionate about the teachings of divine truth. I They've changed my life in such a wonderful manner that I will be forever grateful to Jesus and Mary for teaching them. I also am now developing my own relationship with God, which is a wonderful exploration and something that I'm finding more out about. And I'm really grateful to Jesus and Mary for introducing me to this beautiful, our beautiful parent and who's so loving and wonderful and has just got so many things, well, he's got everything covered. And so I feel like just sharing what I'm experimenting with in, in regards to God's truth and applying principles of divine truth to one's life is really the simplest, most effective and most rapid way to cause positive change in oneself. And by changing oneself, then you can become an example in the world for positive change to others, which I think is a lovely gift to, to give to others. It is up to you because no change is possible unless you want to do it. 
So everything that I share on these presentations is, if you choose to apply it, that is completely up to your desire and your aspiration of whether you want to do that. And you'll need to figure that out for yourself. But the resources here for any parent who would like to have a go and I feel for some parents, well, for myself and I talking to a lot of other parents, they pretty much felt clueless becoming a parent of what to do or how to do things. There are so many books written on parenting, which does make me think that people have quite a lot of issues with parenting, else we wouldn't be looking for so many resources. For me personally, the teachings of divine truth would have been the only thing that have actually worked work to make permanent positive change in my life. I've tried a lot of other things and there's not there's some good ideas out there. The thing that's missing in most of the literature that I've read so far is a soul-based change and actually dealing with the emotions and most resources leave that out. They have strategies and all kinds of like helpful hints and all this kind of stuff but they don't deal with the emotional aspect and all of us are emotional beings. Babies are completely emotional when they are born into the world. And that's how they interface and react and interact with the world and tell us things is via their emotional responses. We shut little children down so rapidly. And now as like large children, you know, or so-called adults, I feel a lot of us are still stuck as children because we haven't worked through a lot of the emotions in us and we haven't become responsible for being, you know, our real, real emotional selves and yeah, we haven't become self-responsible yet in the sense of being responsible for our own spiritual development and growth and being responsible for our emotional health and well-being and being responsible for even our physical lives. We're often wanting people to fill in the gaps or do certain things um, for us, either in all of those areas or some of those areas, depending on our own experiences and, and development as a person. So this program is for, yeah, as I said, it can apply to any person who's sincerely interested. It's just taking, simply taking teachings of divine truth, which are mainly principles, because principles can be applied to anyone's situation under any circumstance. And that's the beauty of principles, or is that it's not situation specific. So some of the examples that I share, they might not apply to you. But if you listen to the principle and apply it to your specific situation, you'll still be able to have come to find more truth and understand and gain more of an education and love by applying these sincerely to your life. I wish you all the best if you choose to engage the program. And if you've got any questions or queries, please feel free to contact me on eloisalh.com or www.eloisalh.com. There's a contact me page on there and uh, send me an email and I'll make a video answering your questions uh, as I have time and, and inclination to do so. When I say that, it's more about I may take your question and, and do some Q&As. I also might just take the themes of various questions if they seem to be quite similar and put those in. It will just depend on, on what kinds of questions are asked. Depending on the question and depending on how time permits for me in my own life, might email you as well. It just depends on what question it is and, and I think if it benefits others then it's worth making a video on it. So this will be an ongoing um, series until it's done and I'm not, I'm not quite sure when it's done. I still have a, a, an idea for the first portion where I want to just cover some basics of divine truth and some basic um, tools and qualities to develop and principles and then I have a feeling like all of those things then can be applied in all different ways to different situations and I'd like to expand on them. So the preliminary videos are a series of videos just introducing you to basic concepts, terminology, ideas, new ways possibly of looking at things and encouraging you to, you know, feel about those things yourself and, and explore more further via the teachings of divine truth that find any more information and the resources at the source of that information, which is www.divinetruth.com. I'll put links underneath these videos as well, so you can easily navigate to those sites. Underneath um, some of the videos as well, you'll see other links to other information that specifically relates to what might be talked about in the presentation. And that's a opportunity for you to deepen your knowledge. Some of it's recommended viewing, and there is a recommended viewing list in the overview in the handout that um, you can also access via the links to my website and that is something to explore further. When I think about 
this program, the main thing I encourage you to do is experiment. You know yourself best, or you might not know yourself that well yet, and this program is a, an opportunity to get to know yourself. You're actually what you're like and what you're doing and who you are and how you feel and what you think and your belief systems and your understanding of the world and all of those things. This, this program is something about coming to understand your, yourself and at first it will be your unloving self, yourself that might not seem that nice and who does a lot of things that are, aren't necessarily very kind or nice to other people and to yourself. And it's coming to know that because you need to know where you're at right now. Once you work through all of those things, then, you know, by developing your soul in the direction of love, you will expand and grow. And you can also act on your own passions and desires and come to know yourself and come to know your loving self. But you need to understand your unloving self before you can understand your loving self. And that's a process um, of, of gaining an education in love. Again, I do recommend the assistance group of material on the Divine Truth teachings. I have, I just, I can't emulate what has um, been gifted by Jesus and Mary via that and by their, their particular assistance group material, but all of the material they have on the Divine Truth channel. They, it's just so simple and they've done such a beautiful program. I recommend watching that, you know, in conjunction with these parenting presentations or just alone. Like if you just watch that, you, you, you pick up so many different principles and ideas and a lot of things that I'm talking about, they come from the Divine Truth teachings, so you'll recognize some of what I'm speaking about. An education in love is so important and I feel that, yeah, these principles applied to parenting, the more you can understand and know about love, the better it's going to go in your family. If you act upon them, <laughs> you can understand a whole lot of theory and you can listen to hours of presentations and you can do nothing about your own soul and you can do nothing about actually yourself and nothing will change. So that's, that's your choices and it's up to you what you choose to do. Um, I highly recommend uh, uh, to do, to actually en engage, have the conflict, come to know yourself and know yourself as you are right now, as God sees you right now. God's your real parent. God knows everything about you. God can see. It's like when kids are really, really tiny. This is how I sometimes think about it. Feel like, you know, we're there in mum's makeup. And we've got makeup all over our face. Or we're there in, you know, dad's workshop and we've messed up his whole shed. And, you know, we go out and, you know, dad's like, did you mess up my workshop? And we're like, no, dad, no, not me. And, you know, mum's like, did you get in my makeup box? No, no, no. And we've got lipstick all over our face and oil all over us or, you know, We've got, you know, the hammer in our hand or whatever and, and, you know, our parents just like, well, parents probably aren't usually this nice, but I just feel like God's sort of like, well, I can see what you've done. I know you've done it. What are you now going to do to correct that? And I feel like God's just sort of lovingly trying to remind us and kindly, kindly steer us in a direction that God knows will help us to become happier and, you know, more fulfilled people. Whereas, you know, and if we emulated um, God's way of parenting, then I feel like, you know, children in the next generation would have a wonderful start in their life to make some grand changes on this earth. I feel that at the moment, if we continue the way we are, which is, is a very unloving way to be, and I say that because that's what I've come to see about myself, setting up the world to be more of the same or worse or just different, you know, different the same kind of stuff. So. The family is a place where positive change and rapidly, I feel, can happen over gen like just a few generations, I feel, if, if we were sincerely applied these teachings um, or these principles to our life and just started working through any issue or impediment to love and to truth that's within ourselves. And I know, as I said for myself, it's been the last 11 years and it's made some wonderful changes and I'll, I've got faith in this whole way that God's created to become a more loving um, soul and I, yeah, for me, I'm, I'm definitely on board. So my suggestion is that you just set yourself up some experiments or do the ones that I um, share with you on these presentations and just see what happens in your life. The resource is completely for free. There's no um, things that are required, you know, by your own effort and desire. 
maybe a paper and pen you might find useful just to jot some things down because it's easy for a lot of things to happen quite rapidly and sometimes like noting down various things that are happening in your life or your feelings and thoughts you can look back and see you can measure your change a little bit with them but um, apart from that it's not an essential item the only thing really is feeling if you you know it comes down to your decision and your desire so it's a brief introduction to the parenting principle program until the next um, the next presentation and I'll see you then